Imagine knowing the exact strategies that millionaires use to build their wealth, the secrets they don't teach you in school. In this video, I'm breaking down 15 powerful strategies from five successful YouTubers and entrepreneurs. You've probably heard of them. Let's hear some advice from Ali Abdal, Mark Tilbury, Alex Hermosi, Robert Kiyosaki, and David Ramsey. These YouTubers and financial educators each have their own strategies for how to build wealth. However, there are some common threads. Let's dive in. Ali Abdal is a doctor turned YouTuber and entrepreneur. He's an online businessman. He has over 5 million subscribers on his YouTube channels, and he's the author of the book, Feel Good Productivity, an excellent book, and I have linked that in the description below. Tip number one, Focus on multiple streams of income. So Ali often mentions the importance of creating multiple streams of income. This includes side hustles, online businesses, and passive income through content creation or digital products. Number two is invest in personal development. Ali believes in the power of investing in oneself through education, skill building, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance to sustain long-term success. Number three, leverage the power of content creation. Ali loves to encourage creating content because he's done it himself and that has been his path to success. And it doesn't just have to be YouTube. You can do it through creating a newsletter or writing an ebook or creating a course or anything that anybody can consume. The idea here is that every piece of content you create is potentially a digital asset that can keep marching for you over time and generating income even passively. Next up, we have Mark Tilbury, who is an educational business YouTuber, investor, and entrepreneur. Tip number four, invest in the stock market. Mark often advises investing in the stock market. He particularly focuses on index funds and dividend paying stocks as a way to build wealth over time. Tip number five, entrepreneurship. He encourages starting a business or side hustle as a means to control your financial destiny and increase your earning potential. And for number six, we have mindset. Mark places a strong emphasis on having the right mindset, avoiding debt, and being frugal while continuing to invest over time. Next up, we have Alex Hormozzi. Now, Alex has built multiple successful businesses. He got started with gyms, then he turned that into a gym launch licensing model. He then went on to make a supplement company and a software company for generating leads. Now he owns a portfolio company called Acquisition.com, where he uh, invests in the development of other companies as well. And he's also the author of some really good business books, including $100 million offers, $100 million leads, and his first book, Gym Launch Secrets, which I recommend reading even if you don't own a gym or plan to ever own one, because it has lots of of really good insights that apply to any business. And all of those books are linked in the description below. Also, as a side note, I do talk a lot about Alex Ramosi and Ali Abdal on this channel. So if you like them, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Number seven is sales and marketing. Now, Alex really stresses the importance of mastering sales and marketing as key skills you must develop if you want to succeed and make money, especially in entrepreneurship. Number eight is focusing on high impact activities. Alex often advises focusing on activities that have a high return on investment or ROI. Examples would be acquiring customers or developing scalable business models. Number nine, have a relentless work ethic. Alex's biggest pet peeve would be entrepreneurs, people that listen to all the podcasts and read all of the books and never actually do anything. Getting in there and doing the work is the most important thing that you can do if you're trying to make money. The work might be different depending on what you're trying to do, but you have to actually do the work. Our next financial expert is Robert Kiyosaki. Robert is an American businessman, author, and investor. He is widely known for his Rich Dad, Poor Dad series of books and a little bit less known for his cash flow board game. Tip number 10 is to invest in assets and not liabilities. Robert is famous for his concept of differentiating between assets, things that put money in your pocket, and liabilities, things that take money out of your pocket. Knowing the difference between an asset and a liability and being able to classify certain things in the right category, Robert says it's really important to invest in assets and to avoid liabilities like the plague. 
He advises investing in real estate, businesses, and any other income-producing assets. Number 11, financial education. Kiyosaki says that the most important resource we have available to us is our mind, and we need to nurture it by educating ourselves. He says that people don't really like to talk about money, but that makes it really hard to learn about money. So he suggests that we seek out books and any other educational resources that might help us learn about money, about laws that affect us, about markets, and about how to invest. Tip number 12, cash flow. Robert says that all cash flow tells the story of the money and where it's coming from and where it's going. Money can come from income from a job where you're trading your time for money, or it can come from assets that are generating that income. Then where that money goes next tells the rest of the story. Does it flow straight through to your debts or do you pay yourself first? Educating yourself about cash flow is critical, according to Robert. And next up, we have Dave Ramsey. Dave is a radio personality and personal finance expert. He is the host of The Ramsey Show and author of many books, including Total Money Makeover. Tip number 13 and our first tip from Dave is debt-free living. Dave's primary advice is to live debt-free by paying off all debts as quickly as possible, including mortgages. He often advocates for the debt snowball method, which is where you take your smallest debt, pay that off first, and build momentum towards the next biggest one, and keep going until they're all paid off. Number 14 is to save and invest conservatively. Dave encourages saving a substantial emergency fund of three to six months worth of expenses. He also encourages investing in mutual funds for long-term wealth building. And he says retirement accounts like 401ks and IRAs are some of the most useful tools you can have in your investment toolbox. Tip number 15 is live below your means. Dave stresses the importance of living frugally and budgeting. He also says to avoid lifestyle inflation, which can really hinder your wealth building efforts. Now, each of these personalities brings a different perspective to the table. But they all emphasize the importance of financial education, strategic investing, and disciplined financial habits as keys to getting rich. Now, one of my key takeaways from all of the advice from each of these people is that you need to acquire assets. Now, there are two ways to acquire them. You can either buy them or you can build them. Buying them requires money. And that would be an example of like putting money in the stock market and letting your money grow for you over time or letting it earn interest in a high interest savings account or letting it grow in a 401k. And that lets your dollars march for you. Another way would be to create your own assets, such as building a business or creating content. This YouTube video is an example of a digital asset that will be marching for me long after I create it and long after I've pressed upload. And the goal is to make as many of them as possible and as consistently as possible. If you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel, I do have a free YouTube starter kit linked in the description below. We'll send you five emails over the course of five days to really help you get started with your channel if you've never done it before or if you have started but just need a little bit more of a push. Additionally, I have a video right here that's going to cover all of those topics and more. 